Yes, guys. So I have to calculate the what is the time taken by A. So what we are doing here? Let me again note down this. Let me just talk about this question. Now, question ten is as I have told you that A beats A and B run a 1760 meter race, and A gives B a start of 55 meters, and still beats him. We are given here. Still beats him. Let me again write that what is given to us and what is to find out. And it still beats him by how many? 15 seconds. It still beats by 15 seconds. This is a very important point. That he has given 55 meters. Uh, I mean, a starting point on five. Um, I mean, has given a start of 55 meters. That means 55 meters uh, ahead of B is there. Okay, B is there. So how many meters he has traveled? So that we will calculate. So this is given to us. Then it said if A runs, up, then he said if A runs at 14.08 kilometer per hour, then what is the speed of B? A the speed is given to us for us. Then find. Then to find B the speed in kilometer per hour that we have to find out here ok b is speed in kilometer per hour this we have to find out ok solution now see here what is solution in 1760 meter per race a runs 1760 meters while B runs only 1760 minus 55 equal to 1705 meters. This is very important. For simple, we are given here that B will run only 1705 meters because 55 meters he has given a bit by B or is starting by B by A to B. Okay, so B has to run only 1705. Meters. Now this 1705 meters. So what is the speed of A? Time taken first we have to find out so what is time taken by B. So first let me find what is the time taken by A to run this 1760 because the speed is given of A. Let me just solve it here. Now A's speed first let me find out. Now A's time taken. Now A takes A takes 60 minutes. Let me find out the time in minutes. 60 minutes to run 14.08 kilometers right but we can say to run 14.08 kilometer kilometer 14.08 kilometer it takes 60 minutes what does it mean means his speed is 14.08 km per hour hour means 60 minutes so in 60 minutes it a covers 14.08 km so in one okay for one kilometer how much time will he take and uh, for one kilometer he will take how much? 60 minutes divided by 14.08. Now, if I have to convert this in kilometer, if I convert this into uh, meters, let me multiply this by 1000 meters. Then, to cover 1760 meters, because it covers 1760 meters, 1760 meters, and uh, hence. A will take to cover to cover 1760 meters. Now this is in meters in the denominator. Meters in 60 upon 14.08. So it will be 
14080. If I multiply by 1000, uh, decimal after decimal, we have put three digits. The 080 point decimal comes about 0.1760. Now, from this, we can find out the what minutes. Time is in minutes, still it is in minutes. For 60 minutes, I am taking. I have taken here. So let me just pencil out this 00. Now if I just, this is 1408. Okay, so 4, 4, 3 is 12, 2 carry, 4, 5 is 20, and 4, 2 is 8, 3, 2, 3, 2. And this is 4, 4 is 16, 4, 4 is 16, 44. Again, yeah, it is by 11, 11, 4 is 44, 11, 3 is 33 in the denominator. And then 33 and 2 carry to 22, 11 to the 22, 32 only. So 4, 8 the 32. It is 16 upon 60 upon 8 minutes. It is 60 upon 8 minutes. Let me further solve it. So A will take. So A takes how many time? How much time? So A takes. 60 upon 8 minutes. Let me further solve it. So if I cancel out by 4, 4 to the 8, and this is 4, 1 year and 4, 5 year, 15 by 2, that means 7 and a half minutes. 7 and a half minutes, or 7 minutes and 30 seconds, we can say. Okay, 7 minutes and 30 seconds, or 7 minutes and 30 seconds because half minute that is 30 seconds it is to cover 17 16 meters now even then he beats b by 15 seconds it means if a is taking 7 30 7 minutes and 30 seconds to cover 17 60 then we will take how much time to cover 17 0 5 15 seconds more it means 7 minutes and 45 15 plus 30 seconds that means 45 seconds so a will take hence a will take let me solve it here the solution this is very interesting question here since a takes 7 minutes and 30 seconds to cover 1760 meters race then we will take 15 seconds more then we will take 15 seconds more Because B covers only 17.05 meters. That is the point. Only this much meters. B covers 17.60 meters. A covers and 17.05 meters only B has covered. This 17.05 meters because A even then beats B by 15 seconds. More 15 seconds will be taken by B. This time taken by B, therefore B will take. Therefore, therefore, B takes, B takes 7 minutes and 45 seconds to cover or to travel 17.05 meters race or 17.05 distance, 17.05 meter distance, this is the point, now in speed we have to find out of A, so this is a uh, meter per second, so let me now find the speed, therefore speed of, therefore the speed of B will be, but in kilometer per hour we have to find out, in kilometer per hour, now this is per minute, so total minutes is taken. So as B 
deep covers 1705 meter in 7 and 45 means 45 by 60 minutes that means this is equal to 7 and 3 by 4 minutes so how much this minutes comes out to be that will further solve these in minutes the total minutes will be 4, 7, 28 and 31 31 upon 4 minutes now these minutes are taken by 31 upon 4 minutes are taken by B to cover 70.05 therefore speed therefore speed of B is equal to 17.05 this is meters upon 31 upon 4 sorry this is 31 I'm sorry this is 31 upon 4 divided by 60 also you understand why 60 so this was in minutes we have to convert this into hours per hour and uh, meter per hour of this we have to convert this into kilometer per hour so first let me convert this into yeah so this is 17.05 meters only so 1.70 so this is in kilometer then not then multiply by 60 because divided by 60 this will convert to this in minutes we have to multiply by 60 also now this is in per hour so 1.705 into 4 into 60 divided by 31 this multiplication and division by 31 will give us total kilometer per hour this is kilometer per hour so this is speed let me further solve it finally the speed of A will be what is the speed or we could say that if I divide it by uh, 1000 in denominator that will be easier, easier for you to let me find out this is 1705 by in meters divided by 1000 this is in kilometers now ok and divide by 31 by here and into this was 4 into 60 also now 0 cancel out 425 times ok and only 6 is there 6 is here and this is 25 this is 31 31 if I divide by 31 this is 107 let me first divide by 5 5 5 is 25 and the 6 is there because 0 only 1 cancel out and this uh, 0 6 is, is still there only 0 cancel out but 6 is still there because 4 cancel out but this is 25 so 5 5 is 25 and 5 3 is 15 2 25 4 is 20 and 5 1 is 5 right 341 I think by 31 if I divide it then it will be up 31 cancelled out completely 5 is still there 31 131 11 times because 34 and 31 subtracted is 331 11 times 31 341 is cancelled out by 31 11 times 11 6 is 66 the final value comes out to 11 6 is 66 divided by 31 kilometer per hour this is speed is okay because age speed was how much 14.08 now this will be this much 66 upon 31 kilometer per hour this is the speed of a 31 puja here 62 this is 2 and 4 by 31 kilometer per hour this is very smaller speed of a this is 2 point something okay kilometer per hour so 2 and 4 by 31 now if I just take 2 kilometer this kilometer per hour this is speed this is the final answer for so B's speed is 2 and 40 4 upon 31 kilometer per hour or 2 point something because 40 if I take 0.4 so it will be 0.1 something okay 2.1 kilometer per hour so that is the point here okay so question is this now this is to be just thought about so this was 
in meters, kilometers we have converted. And this 60, this 31 by 4, 4 has come in the numerator. If by divide by 60, because minutes are converted into hours, we will divide it by further 60. This is converted into hours, so 60 will come here. 7005 into 60 into 4 upon 31. And then I divide by 1000, because meter is to be converted into kilometers. So divide by 1000, then we solve it. So this 2 and 4 by 31 kilometers. This is age speed, sorry, beach speed. Beach speed we have to find out in kilometers per hour. That is the question here. Okay, this question number 10 we have completed. Now, one question which is the fourth question. Okay, I think uh, which I uh, check my uh, lecture series B. Okay, in 30B, in which I completed this B question also. But in the last, finally, I, I have seen that the last answer is that what is the speed of in the opposite direction when they will meet in the opposite direction what is the timing taken by uh, these two in a circular race of 1200 meters a and b we start from the same point and at the same time with the speeds of 24 km 27 km per hour and 45 km per hour respectively find when will they meet again for the first time on the track when they are running in the same direction this i calculate that i think one uh, 20 or something um, time is taken because relative, relative speed in opposite direction when they are moving then their speed is added up so total time question number four i am talking about question number four second part time taken this question but i think i've seen that there's no complete answer is not written so time taken to meet once again when they are running in opposite direction this is the second part in opposite direction it will be given by time taken is equal to distance L divided by relative speed time to distance this much I have written down there relative speed what the relative speed is L upon A plus B now L is in meters I think so distance given in meters 12 meters 1200 meters time is equal to time to meet is equal to 1200 meters upon the, the kilometer per hour the speed is kilometer per hour what is speed 27 plus 45 this is kilometer per hour but i have convert this in meter per second so i have multiplied it by 5 by 80 let me we solve it further it is 1200 upon this total sum is 5 plus 4 to 72 72 into 5 by 18 18 4 is 72 4 for the 20 which is 1200 upon 20 okay this is now meter per second no this is in in seconds but so speed is now meter per second distance above is meter now seconds will be taken this 0 0 60 seconds 60 seconds are taken 60 seconds okay so 60 seconds will be taken to meet again if they are running in opposite direction second part of question number four question number four was i think i completed but the second part answer was not completed because answer i was writing that camera was off okay so lecture number b lecture 30 b lecture 30 b you can see that in the end answer of this was not not completed i mean i completed but the camera was already off i didn't see that so this 60 seconds they have taken the first answer was first answer was that when they are running in the same direction the relative speed will be 45 minus 27 so that was 45 minus 27 is 15 meter 15 kilometer per hour well 27 so 45 minus 27 difference the 12 minus 7 or 15 minus 12 is 8 1 carry 18 only so only 5 kilometer per hour it was total time taken in opposite direction the question the first part of this was this was uh, which i have already done 1200 divided by difference of that 45 minus 27 kilometer per hour into 5 by 18 this is meter per second was time taken 
I am taken in the same direction. I am taken to meet Manjaran in the same direction. This I have already done. You can see there. This is 1200 upon 45 months 27 is 18. 15 months 7 is 8 and one carry out 18. This is 5 by 18. 18 18 cancel out. This is 1200 upon 5. 5 to the 10. And 5 for the 20. This is 240 seconds. I think this I uh, have completed already there. Question First one was completed. That when they are running in the same direction, then they will take the relative speed will be difference of the two speeds. The difference of two speeds, and when they are running in opposite direction, the relative speed is always added up to the two addition bars there. So some of them was 72. So that second part we have completed. This is the first part, I think that is already completed there. You can see that question number four is was incomplete. In the uh, second part was incomplete, so I have completed that. Okay, now all the ten questions are now over. So please check these questions, they are very important in case of circular race. Okay, sometimes we find out that what the LCM of the timings to meet in the same direction and or in the opposite direction. If they are meeting in the on the same point from where they have started, then we take the LCM of all the timings of the three people or two people. Okay, so LCM of that we have found out. If they are to meet at any point, whatever I mean, once they are meeting after starting, they meet first time. Whenever they meet at first time, not actual given time, then we find out the difference from there. Or relative speed we find out. As we have found out the relative speed in this case. So relative speed when they are meeting the same or running in the same direction. Okay, or they start at the same point, then they run. After that, what time they will take? So the difference of the two speeds we have taken here. In this way, this is the only difference. Okay, then see you in the next lecture series. That is the last lecture series in this category of time and distance questions. Okay, then see you bye.